Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss different steps in SVM classifier with the help of a simple example. In the previous videos, I have solved many examples on SVM classifier. Link for those videos is given in the description below. Before we go with SVM algorithm, first we will understand what is SVM algorithm. SVM stands for support vector machine. It is a powerful supervised machine learning algorithm used to solve many tasks such as linear or non-linear classification problems, regression problems, outlier problems and many more. Given a two-class linearly separable data set of n points of the form, let us say that we have been given n data points, uh, they are of this form, x1 vector, comma y1, x2 vector, comma y2, dot dot dot, xn vector, comma yn, where xn, x1, x2, xn are the input vectors, y1, y2, yn are the targets in this case. So y1, y2, yn can be any one of these two things, either it is a plus 1 or minus 1. Let us take an example to understand uh, these uh, data points. In this case, uh, we have been given uh, three input vectors. This is x1, this is x2 and this is x3 here. Each of these input vectors contains uh, two attributes. And this last column is the target that is nothing but y1, y2, y3. y1 is minus 1, y2 is plus 1 and y3 is plus 1 in this case. Now we will understand what are the different steps in uh, SVM classifier algorithm. In the first step of SVM algorithm, we need to find the value of alpha vector. Alpha vector is a combination of uh, alpha values. In this case, we have uh, three examples. So we need to calculate alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3. In general, if we have n number of examples, we need to calculate alpha 1, alpha 2 till alpha n here. So we need to calculate this alpha vector which maximizes this function. So what is this function? Phi of alpha vector is equal to summation of alpha i where i will go from 1 to n minus 1 divided by 2 summation of alpha i, alpha j, y i, y j, x i vector dot product with x j vector for all i is equal to 1, j is equal to 1 till n in this case. So in this case we know this uh, uh, y i and y j x i vector and x j vector, we do not know this uh, alpha i and alpha j. So, we need to calculate these alpha values such that uh, which will maximize this function here. Now, uh, there are certain conditions we need to follow while calculating the values of uh, alphas. So, the first condition is uh, summation of alpha i y i should be equal to 0 for all i is equal to 1 to n. That is nothing but uh, uh, alpha 1 y1 plus alpha 2 y2 till alpha n y n should be equal to 0. That is the first thing. And all alpha i's should be greater than 0. That is nothing but alpha 1 should be greater than 0, alpha 2 should be greater than 0 and so on. So, now in this example, uh, if we expand this equation, there are three examples are there. So, that is the reason it will become alpha 1 y1. What is y1 here? Minus 1. So, it will be minus alpha 1 plus alpha 2 y2. What is y2 here? Plus 1 here. So, it will be alpha 2. Third one is alpha 3 which is equal to 0. So, while calculating the values of alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 and so on, we need to consider this uh, constant here. What is the constant? Summation of uh, alpha i y i for all i is equal to 1 to n should be equal to 0 here. So, once you calculate the values of uh, alpha vector, the next step is to calculate the weight vector here. So, weight vector is always equal to summation of alpha i y i x i vector for all i is equal to 1 to n where n is the number of examples again. So, what is alpha i? We have already calculated. So, alpha 1, alpha 2, alpha 3 we have already calculated in the first step. So, in the second step what we do? We use those values to calculate the weight vector here. Uh, we know the y i's. Y i is nothing but the target that is known to us. X i vector is nothing but the input vector that is also known to us. Using all these known values, we can easily calculate weight vector here. Now, once you calculate the weight vector, the next step is to calculate the bias here. Now, how to compute the bias? Bias is always equal to 1 by 2 minimum of weight vector dot product with x i vector for all i such that y i is equal to plus 1. So, what we need to do? So, minimum of weight vector dot product with x i vector we need to calculate. While doing this thing, what we need to do is we need to consider only the positive examples here. 
So in this case, how many positive examples are there? There are two positive examples are there. We need to solve this one that is uh, W vector with respect to first uh, input vector, W vector with the second input vector. Between these two, we need to select the minimum here. That is what the meaning of this one. Plus maximum of weight vector dot product with input vector for all i such that uh, yi is minus 1. That is nothing but we need to consider only negative examples here. So, if you have some 10 negative examples, we need to calculate this uh, dot product. Between 10, whichever is maximum, we need to consider that one. Uh, that will be the final answer in that case. So, in this case, we have only one uh, negative example. So, there is no question of uh, selecting the maximum. Whatever the uh, dot product will get, that is the final answer here. Now, once you calculate the weight vector and the bias, the next step is to calculate the SVM classifier uh, equation. That is nothing but the hyperplane equation. In SVM, this is how the hyperplane equation looks like. F of x vector is always equal to weight vector dot x vector minus uh, b here, where weight vector is already calculated, b is also already calculated, and x vector is a support vector. An input vector is called as a support vector if the alpha i of that input vector is greater than 0. For example, let's assume that in this case we have three examples alpha 1 is 10, alpha 2 is equal to 2 and alpha 3 is equal to minus 5. So, in this case, only the input vectors with respect to alpha 1 and alpha 2 are the support vectors. We consider those input vectors for calculating the hyperplane equation of SVM classifier. So in this case, alpha 3 is with respect to x3 vector. So, we do not consider x3 vector in this case. We consider only uh, x1 vector and x2 vector to calculate the hyperplane equation in this case. So, once you calculate the final uh, hyperplane equation using a weight vector, bias and the support vector, uh, we can use this equation to classify the new example into one of the classes as either plus 1 or minus 1 in this case. In this video, I have discussed what is SVM classifier algorithm and how to find the equation of a hyperplane with the maximum margin with the help of a simple example. In the previous videos, I have solved many examples to find the hyperplane with the maximum margin for the given data set. Link for those videos is given in the description below. I hope the concept of uh, SVM that is uh, nothing but support vector machine is uh, clear. If you like the video, do like and share with your friends. Press the subscribe button for more videos. Press the bell icon for regular updates. Thank you for watching.